There we have our head out of the box. Um, looking at it now, it's um, it's a nice looking case. Yeah, nice looking case. You got the the fans. There's one fan there. There's one behind a clear cover on the front as well. And there are two 140 millimeter diameter fans and two front bays. Um, so obviously your CD drives or IO or outputs, or whatever. Um, and on the top here, we have the um, USB 2, there's two USB 2s and a USB 3. Um, we've got the headphone and your microphone jack. Pressed metal chassis that you've got your cable throughs here. Um, and they have got rounded uh, metal edges, obviously, not to cut your cables, etc. But I'd like to have seen some gaiters on there, really. Um, and on this side here we have the two SSD HDD drawers. There's one. They're plastic. Um, they don't have screws. They have these little pressure, little sprung-loaded nodules, <laughs> like little nipples, which hold your drives in place. They're a bit plasticky, to be fair. Okay, 64 euros it was, so it wasn't expensive really. Um, it's a it's a midi case, so but it's fairly, fairly reasonably fairly tall still. So. A little bag of screws to cover the case, as you can see there. It reminds me of Star Wars, like a like a black stormtrooper. Um, and we have two power buttons on the front. I don't know why we've got two. I'll find out later. Maybe one is for the CD drive or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? And you have one. It comes with one fan. All right, but with this. Build, it's a bit of a budget build for me. It's going to have two fans on the front. I've got one nice LED fan to go in the front, probably in the bottom here, and I've got one with a radiator to do the cooler for the CPU. Yeah, so we have it on the back, we have the IO. So you've got a standard IO slot on the back here, that's so the fan there. You've got your PCI outputs, with your PCI cards here, and your PSU, which is a reasonable size space for it. So, um, most standard PSUs, I'm sure, will, will fit in there quite nicely. On the whole, I think it's reasonably solid. It's not too bad at all, really. The only thing I'm not that keen on, there's a lot of plastic trims, and they're not... I wouldn't say they're, they're fairly solid at all. They're, um... They're very... Well, I don't know what they are, but they're plastic. <laughs> but if you, if you can hear this, it's a bit... And this bit on top here, I can see that probably breaking actually or cracking at some point in the future. Apart from that, it's, it's fairly good, but um, you can see that's tinny, I say tinny, plasticky. They don't, they, don't feel, they don't feel very good quality, to be honest. So that bit is a little bit disappointing. But there again, it's, it's, it wasn't an expensive case, and it's fairly well featured. Mounts the um, ATX, full ATX board, or the micro ATX, um, but I'm fitting in this case, I'm putting a uh, MSI Tomahawk in here, um, which is quite nice really, it's the B350 Tomahawk motherboard, full ATX motherboard, which isn't too expensive, it's got the AM4 um, socket, and um, that will be going in shortly. So there you go, there you have it, it's a 64 um, euro case, which isn't a bad price at all considering, really, and um, yeah, it's not, it's not a bad way of money, like I said, some of the plastic trims are a bit flimsy, um, but the carcass is okay, it's fairly solid, not, not too badly made at all really, no horrible nasty, really sharp edges or anything like that, so yeah, it's good, hope you found that useful, so if you uh, wouldn't mind, click like or subscribe or both.